Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars action figure review. Today's video is going to be more of an overview than an actual review as I've got some very very cool figures to give you guys a look at. As you guys will have seen on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter over the past few days, uh, cardback images have been released of the Vintage Collection Wave 25 which of course features characters from The Mandalorian. Now thanks to the very kind folks at staractionfigures.co.uk I've been able to get my hands on some early samples of these figures ahead of their March slash April release. Now these figures look absolutely fantastic. Wave 25 does consist as you can see of the Mandalorian himself, Cara Dune, the Remnant Stormtrooper and a repack of the Clone Trooper from Episode 2 Attack of the Clones. This has got to be one of the coolest waves of vintage collection figures that I've seen for quite some time and I think due to the popularity of the Mandalorian TV series this is going to be a very very popular wave at retail. Now as I said these figures are due for a release in around March or April of this year but the guys at staractionfigures.co.uk were able to hook me up with some early samples so that I could give you guys a look at them ahead of their scheduled release. Now if you do want to pick up these figures for yourself, you don't have to wait till April. You can hit the links in my video description and that will allow you to pre-order these figures at staractionfigures.co.uk so you can guarantee that you're going to get these in hand when they are released later on in the year. But the purpose of this video is just to give you guys a look at what to expect from this wave and having had a look at these figures, although I've not opened them up out of the packaging yet, I've got to say, once again, this is probably one of my favourite waves of vintage figures. The quality of these guys looks absolutely fantastic. The Remnant Stormtrooper in particular is a very, very cool looking figure. So in this review, or in this video, we are just going to take uh, a brief, a brief overview and a brief look at these figures. Now, Star Action figures were indeed the first to release images of these card backs, so up until a few days ago, we had no idea what the packaging for these figures would look like. But as you can see, the card back for the Mandalorian is very, very nice indeed. Now, this particular version of the Mandalorian um, is depicted in his early armour that he wears during the first few episodes of the series. Obviously, later on in the series, spoiler alert guys, he does upgrade to Beskar Mandalorian Steel, which I do expect we'll see a figure of later on down the line. But as you can see, this guy just looks phenomenal. Super articulated, as is part of the course with the Vintage Collection. Comes with some very cool accessories. And on the card, just looks absolutely gorgeous. A really cool image on the card back itself Mandalorian logo at the top there as well just a very very cool looking figure all round really really nice indeed so that is the Mandalorian on the backs of these cards we do have other figures available in the vintage collection so we've got Cara Dune and the Remnant Stormtrooper of course the Clone Trooper and some figures from previous waves such as the Jawa, the Shadow Stormtrooper, the Sith Trooper from the Rise of Skywalker and the Princess Leia figure from the Yavin Ceremony. So some really really cool figures available in the Vintage Collection and these guys will make fantastic additions to the Vintage line. So I've got to say the Mandalorian, hands down the standout figure from this bunch but the rest of these figures are very nice indeed as well so moving on from the Mandalorian we'll set him aside and we'll take a look at Cara Dune very cool character in the series big fan of Gina Carano's portrayal of this character she is of course a an ex-rebel shock trooper and that is signified by the Rebel Alliance tattoo she has on her cheek which is very very cool indeed. Now Cara Dune has been available in the Black Series 6 inch line this is the first 3 and 3 quarter inch release of Cara 
but she looks fantastic as well she of course comes with that heavy rat blaster rifle pistol as well and her costume and overall sculpt looks absolutely superb obviously some of these new vintage collection figures do feature the photo reel face printing technology as well so the likeness on this figure is very very nice and once again like with the mandalorian the card back looks stunning as well you've got a really cool badass image of Kara on the card there and of course the mandalorian logo featured at the top so that's definitely going to be another highly sought after figure moving Kara aside we have the remnant stormtrooper this is once again a very very cool figure this guy reuses the rogue one stormtrooper sculpt that we saw earlier in the vintage collection obviously this guy's just been given a bit of a repaint to dirty him up give him a little bit of weathering make him look like he's literally been through the wars but i've got to say this figure looks absolutely beautiful i love the sculpt of this stormtrooper it's definitely the definitive stormtrooper that hasbro released the paint applications on this guy look fantastic what i really like about this one is the fact that the mouthpiece on the stormtrooper helmet is actually longer than the Rogue One helmet, um, which obviously reflects the image on the card back there, and the costumes worn by the Stormtroopers in the Mandalorian series, which I believe a lot of the Stormtroopers in the series were played by members of the 501st, which is really, really cool. But as you can see, this guy's heavily weathered, he's got some stains, he's got some battle damage, comes with that iconic D11 blaster rifle, and again, you've got a really, really nice image of the Stormtrooper on the card back there. Once again, with the Mandalorian logo. So it's three really cool figures from the Mandalorian series. And once again, these are definitely going to be highly sought after action figures, guys. So make sure you pre-order these via the links in the video description. And finally, moving on from the Stormtrooper, we do of course have... A repack, what would the vintage collection be without repacks? This has got to be a very popular one. This is the Attack of the Clone, the Clone Trooper, which was first released in around, I think, 2011. So it's been a long time since we've seen this figure in circulation. And I think with the upcoming release of the Clone Wars Season 7, even though this guy is from Attack of the Clones, the Clone Troopers are going to be very high in demand once again. So it would be really cool for you guys to be able to pick up this figure. Really, really nice sculpt on this one. Once again, like with the Stormtrooper, in my opinion, this is the definitive Clone Trooper sculpt. A lot of people think it looks a little bit too skinny, but I think the proportions on this one are perfect. The sculpt itself is fantastic. Obviously, the helmet is removable, so you'll have that photo reel face printing technology going on underneath as well. He's uh, highly accessorized, highly articulated. And as a carded sample, he looks stunning once again. So I'm really excited about the re-release of this figure as well. It'll be a great opportunity to army build for those of you that missed out all those years ago. But again, Wave 25 looking absolutely phenomenal. Some great figures in this wave. And once again, if you want to get your hands on these figures make sure you hit up staractionfigures.co.uk. Once again, they were the first to reveal the images of the cards for these figures. And thanks to the guys at Star Action Figures, I've been able to bring you this, in many ways, a world exclusive first in-hand video of the vintage collection at Wave 25. So be sure to leave your comments in the video description, guys. I want to know what you guys think of these figures. Which ones do you plan to pick up? What have you thought of the Mandalorian series so far? Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. So that is going to do it for this video guys. I hope you've enjoyed this exclusive sneak peek of the Vintage Collection Wave 25. And I'll be back with some more reviews as soon as I can. Until next time, as always, thank you for watching, keep collecting, and may the force be with you.